to hello everyone welcome to islam law open course uh, this is the third lesson of control plans and in this lesson i try to explain the control plan types and the differences between each other but before we start um, to you know to discuss this issue let's discuss a little bit about the production conditions there are three main condition production conditions uh, and let's explain with some examples for example you make stamping operation all right stamping or drilling it doesn't matter or casting or plastic injection it doesn't matter you have already produced one million parts and you have already delivered it delivered it to cost delivered them to customers you installed the process three years ago. You know, all the tools, all the equipments, or all the jigs, fixtures are uh, in the serial production condition. You finalize all the quality issues. So, this is serial production, right? But let's say you have just started the production. For example, you make an injection molding and this is the first time you produce that part. You don't know um, the... You, let's, let's not say, not say uh, don't know, but uh, this is the first time you produce that part in a new machine or it's a complete a new process. So. You have to make stronger controls, right? You have to apply stronger, uh, set stronger, uh, set stronger uh, control points for uh, your production because it's the first time you make, uh, you start the serial production. So this is why we call pre-serial production, and you have to make stronger controls maybe more frequent controls or prototype production you make die casting you have a die casting plant and your customer ask us ask you to make five pieces with a knee mold five pieces so uh, maybe it's not feasible to uh, make production with the heat treated tools so maybe you you need to make the production with cheaper materials so it's not serial production serial production condition this is prototype production so you have only five parts so this is why you have to make very 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 strong controls to guarantee all the details which already defined on the drawings so this is why we call it prototype production you have to make stronger controls, all right? Stronger controls. So, if you check these control plans, if you compare these com control plans between each other, actually they are prepared in the same order. It starts with the control plan title, then it goes with the incoming quality, production phase, packaging or laboratory tests right but there is some significant change significant change for example control methods you make die casting all right it's the first time it just before the serial production it's pre-serial so you define a caliper to check the whole dimension right for every 50 parts let's say but if it is you know if it is a prototype production only five pieces with a knee mold and it's not heat treated you know it's you didn't finalize the design you didn't finalize the tool or your equipment so it's very critical to check the dimensions so maybe you need a stronger control method like 3d machine all right for example, control frequency, you can change, you can make tighter control by changing the frequency 
not every 50 parts sorry maybe you need to make control 100% you have you need to check every part for pre-serial so it's an example for serial production it is uh, the control is defined for every 50 part but pre-serial it is 100% you have to check every part every part for example qualification tests um, in almost you know every uh, control plans there is a section uh, which you define your laboratory tests because uh, checking a dimension with caliper is a control but also making a salt spray test or tensile test is a control but it is not a, uh, it is not uh, possible to make on the production it must be performed on the laboratory so this is why there is a specific area defined on the control plans which you write the tests which you perform on laboratory and we call them qualification tests for example for serial parts maybe it's enough to perform once in a year but if it is prototype okay maybe you need uh, to perform this laboratory test every part or for example you make 10 parts uh, you will you will make this qualification test for prototype production maybe five part 50 percent of the parts all right or it could be for example uh, difference between uh, control responsibilities serial production okay it's a self-control logic so uh, production operator is responsible to make this control but pre-serial is a little bit critical so maybe you define uh, you give responsibility quality to make this production uh, the controls which define on the control plan okay let's uh, summarize there are three control plan types serial control plans pre-serial control plans and prototype control plans and it's prepared in the same order but there are some major difference between control methods maybe control methods maybe control frequencies maybe qualification tests or control responsibilities thank you very much